Come closer, come closer. Okay, so we've unscrewed the um, lip manifold off, the three bolts holding it in place, this one around the back. This one, the bolt had um, completely turned, it's completely flat, around, sorry. But uh, Michael, I don't know how he did it, got like a chisel and just started hitting it until it turned. And then with um, a vise grip, we managed to, um, to finally get it off. <laughs> <laughs> but um, have a, have a Film the, the bolt here really quickly. So yeah, that's just completely, the edge is completely gone. Okay, so this is the inlet manifold and the carburetor coming off. I'm just gonna leave it here for now. Don't worry, I'll put it somewhere safe later on. And just before that, we took off the alternator. <laughs> so that's like, um, it's like the reverse of an electric engine, motor, sorry. Um, whereas, uh, so this one turns air movement from the actual car uh, back into energy to recharge the battery. This one's attached here like that. There's two things here that go into here and there. That's the touch like that. And then there's like a, a little bracket here. We've, moved, we've pushed this bracket up, but that normally goes down to here. And that, that kind of gives it support and also, because um, it's quite small and bouncy, it kind of it makes sure it doesn't um, kind of rattle too much because it absorbs some of the the vibration um, and then this goes from the engine and, um, and the fan and that's this is what turns the actual uh, mechanism inside um, this is plugged in around the back and then the wiring goes off to recharge the battery <sighs> so I'm just gonna put this down again I'm having a bit of trouble with the um, oil pump. I've removed some of some. Actually, I might have to borrow your camera. Actually. And I show people what's going on. Can I can I film you to see what? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Okay. So the bit I'm having a bit of trouble with is here. Um, so that's the fuel pump, and I've removed the bolts that go on top of it. Um, and I thought they were the ones that could, uh, that would loosen it, but they don't. But there are two other bolts further up. I'm not sure if you can see anything because it's too dark. But they seem to have... Let me see if I can get into it. There they are. Okay, so there's a bolt that you can see there, and then there's another one on the other on the other hand. But they seem to be held in place by like some metal thing. So I'm not sure if I need to bend that. It's like the wash has been bent or something. So do I need to fold it back or anything? Um, please let me know. I don't already know what to do. Um, the next job is we're going to have to take off the engine, which is what I'm under, and separate it from the gearbox. Um, and there's a lot of nuts and bolts that we need to undo around underside but then there's also some that um oh no there's oil on the thing <laughs> sorry sorry i'm not sure if we're upside down or not but um we basically need to take off the um, Sorry if we're upside down. We need to take off the roof and, uh, sorry, the, the roof and the, the floor panels and um, the inside kind of covers. I see. I don't think that helps much. A little bit. <laughs> I was showing it in. Yeah, so we need to take off the, the floor panels. There's a bit of rubbish in there. Um, and then the centre kind of panel uh, where the gear sticks are uh, so we can get. I think it's called a bell housing. So I'm still, I've been reading that, but I don't really know yet. Um, and then we're just trying to make the engine as light as possible. That's why we're taking off all the other side bits so that we can take it out. That's it for today. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>